Hello once again YouTube and audience Today is a rarity because we're opening up one of the core um, packets Another 15 cards for us to look into So enjoy this one at last so Let's get on with it 15 cards hopefully Some good ones in here Hopefully, less of. Well, what the heck did they put that in there? Which is what I've been getting from my uh, Dragon's Maze with Return to Ravnica cards. So, here, first card is the Pitchburn Devils card. It is a 3-3 creature and uh, it's uh, one mountain and four others to cast, so that's five. When, but when Pitchburn Devil dies, it deals three damage to target creature or player. So, kind of a catch-22 with that one. You know, you do kill it, but it might kill you. Second card is Veridant Haven of Green. Um, this casts one forest and two other for an enchantment aura. It enchants a land. And when Veridant Haven enters the battlefield, you gain two life. So, if you're running a white-green deck, maybe that's the card to consider. Card number three is going to be another common. Is Rumbling Baloth. It again casts four. That's two forests and two from anything else. It's a 4-4 four -four creature. And... Uh, just a prim primary beast, really, really. Primoral beast. Sorry. Um, yeah. And uh, it's one of my favourites because... Just because of its toughness. 4-4. Four, four, attack and defence. Card 4. Is... so. Uh, one of my favourites is it's of white. It's Dawnstrike Paladin costs five to to bring out two planes and three others, but it has vigilance, so it doesn't mean it's tapping anytime soon. And it has Life Link, which means if you deal, for instance, two damage with this card. You gain two life just by that card. It's a two of a four creature. Um, not the best favorite I have out there, um, but to, it is a card which I personally like. And forgive me, Ty, but I beat you to forty life to zero, but with this card in our very first duel. Our fifth card is uh, one for mobs. It's Predatory Sliver. He will tell you that uh, it's only two to bring out, one of which will be a forest. Um, and Sliver creatures you control get plus one, plus one. And it's a one, one creature itself. So... Now the first fives. Um, second five look like this. Starting with number six, it's a Merfolk Spy. Only cast of one, but it's a one-one Merfolk Rogue, and it's got Island Walk. This creature can't be blocked as long as a defender play as a defending player controls an island. 
and whenever a Merfolk spy deals combat damage to a player, that player reveals a card at random from his or her hand. Quite handy if you want to reveal the next card. So on to card 7. Mark of the Vampire. This is probably one for TJ. He likes his mono black. It costs 4 to cast. One of which is a swamp and 3 of anything else. Enchant Aura, so it's Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus 2, plus 2 and has Life Link, which is the same as Dawn Strike Paladin, except this is black and it's an enchantment, so... There we go. Um, so yeah, we're on to... Card number 8. Which is Blur Sliver. Another one for your mobs. Um, remember what this does? Yeah. It's three to cast. Sliver creatures you control have haste. So they can attack as soon and tap as soon as they come up under your control. It's 2-2. Two, two. Could be 3-3 three, three with the other sliver. In this pack, um, enough said. Card number nine. Oh, by the way, it's a two-two creature. Is the pacifism card number nine? It's one of my favourite enchantments. Uh, uh, partly because of the low cost of. Two, one of which has to be a plane. You enchant creature, enchanted creature can't attack or block, but annoyingly can still use abilities. Now let's see what our tenth card looks like. It's the instant known as Fortify. For three, you get to choose one. Creatures you control either gain plus to attack and no defense until end of turn or creatures you control gain no attack and plus to defense until end of turn it's your choice on that card so this is card number 11 it's the Colonian Tusker which only has two forest to bring out for this mighty 3-3 creature. And I w wouldn't want to get in its way. With all those tusks on it. Um, moving on to card 12. It's a bit jumpy so. Here we go. It's enlarge. This card. It's a sorceress, so you can only cast it in your turn. It's five to cast. Two forest and three other. So target creature gets plus seven, plus seven, and gains trample until end of turn. It must be blocked this turn if able. And then, if a creature with trample would assign enough damage to its blockers to destroy them, you may have it assign the rest of its damage to defending player or planeswalker. What a nasty side effect that is, but I guess if you're running a green deck, it comes in hel helpful. Um... Yeah, card 13 is the Warden of Evos Island. I'm not a big fan of this, but I know that Jonathan runs a blue deck. And these can come out pretty quick. Because by your third turn, they can come out. One island and two others bring this 2-2 creature out with flying 
creatures spells with flying you cast cast one less cost I mean that's not right I'll read that again creature spells with flying you cast cost one mana less to cast now why didn't I say that in the first place I think that's card 14 ooh it's a rare rare goblin diplomats for two it's a red card so one of which has to be a mountain it's a two over one goblin uh, tap effect each creature attacks this turn if able my 15th card mm, I'm hoping for a bit of land here so let's see which one it is it's a plains basic land yeah um, most of your deck is made up of it so what's this card is it a token does it have more trash on the other side let's have a look at our mystery card it's a wolf token if you are running a wolf deck this would come in pretty handy all wolves have 2-2 two, two, and look ferocious so once again from the rocket pit so this is where I say Good luck, God bless, and from now, good night, and thank you for watching.